Hello and welcome back to part 16 of Castle Broken Head Presents Let's Play Dragon Quest. Uh, last time we defeated the Axe Knight, actually that was the time before last, and then last time we went and got the Rainbow Bridge. Uh, as you can see off screen, I've leveled up to level 21. Uh, that is still not strong enough uh, for the fight against the Dragon Lord. Today, we are going to take a little trip to Charlock Castle to go find Lodo's sword. Now, before I went in to Ramaldar, I did use a repel, and I have got uh, one fairy wand. I should also point out that uh, our stats have changed rather dramatically. Uh, we also gained a new spell, Hurt More. Uh, we got that at level 19. Uh, level 18 took me about 26 minutes to uh, get to by grinding. Uh, level 19 took me about 54 minutes. about an hour and 34 minutes in that uh, I made it to level 20. Each of those was 3,000 experience between levels. At, uh, actually, to get up to level 20, it was 4,000. And then 4,000 experience to get up to level 21. Uh, so I spent a total of 2 hours, 12 minutes grinding for levels uh, south of Hawk's Nest, and then I walked around Cantlin for a while as well. All right, so here we have Charlock Castle. Uh, the enemies in here are going to be strong. Uh, on the main floor, it, it's going to be enemies we've seen. We have the Axe Knight, who you might remember as the guy we defeated for Erdrick's armor, or sorry, Lodo's armor. And there's Green Dragons, Axe Knights, and I believe wizards uh, on this first floor here. Uh, we don't need to go into there. That path on the left uh, leads to a dead end, as does the path on the right. As you can see, we've gotten a lot stronger uh, while I was off screen. Uh, by the end, uh, these... Uh, these green dragons are usually about three hits to kill now, and I can just walk off the damage they do. Now, if you recall, the one guy told us that there was a secret in the Dragon Lord's room. Uh, this is what he was talking about. It was supposed to be the throne room, is what he was supposed to say. Uh, not everything in this game is perfect. Just take a look at how much time I spent grinding uh, just to get to level 21, and we're still not at the recommended level uh, for fighting Dragonlord. You'll see I put stairs, uh, I meant to search, and then use the stairs. Now, for this trip through, I'm actually going to use the Radiant spell, and uh, that way you guys can see where we're going. When it comes time for the fight with Dragon Lord, uh, I'm actually going to do a full run through of the castle because this is going to be two trips through the castle. I'm going to need to do more level grinding in between. Uh, and when I do that uh, run through the castle, uh, it's going to be more important that I salvage as much magic as I can before fighting Dragon Lord. So what I'll be doing there is, uh, well, using torches to get through. Alright, you guys remember this wizard? Uh, he looks just like the magician and the warlock, only a different color scheme. Uh, you can see that they reused a lot of character models in this. To start off, uh, Dragonlord's Castle actually just follows uh, a set path that you 
have to follow. Uh, so it's pretty hard to get lost in this first section. Uh, you just follow along, and as you can see, if you are uh, not strong enough to face this tier of monsters, that's where it becomes a problem. That's no longer an issue for me. Uh, the reality is that once I hit about level 17, it became a lot harder to get killed by things. Uh, mostly just because I have the heal more spell. Uh, of course, Axe Knights could prove me wrong by putting me to sleep, uh, because I am still highly susceptible to sleep. going to heal more, and you see how effective that spell is. Uh, that chest right there, that is Lodo's sword. That's the sword we're looking for. Alright, we have our first new monster. Alright. Uh, this is the blue dragon. He has 70 hit points. It has an attack of 98, a defense of 84, speed of 255, and he gives 60 experience and up to 160 gold. Not that we care about gold anymore. Uh, he has a fiery breath attack, and that's about it. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do, just because I can, is I'd like to show you guys the hurt more spell. See, it does 61 damage. Uh, which... Oh, okay, I guess uh, he didn't have that much hit points. Uh, just like before, guys, my notes are kind of sketchy, uh, so they're not always 100% accurate. Also, with this game, uh, monster health and gold is variable, so I will need to ask you to excuse me on that. Alright, we're going to cast that Radiant spell again, uh, not because I actually need it, uh, because, as you know, I have maps that tell me where to go but more so that you guys can see. Alright, so you'll see there are a couple of staircases here. We don't want those. There's a very particular staircase that we want. And here we have our next new enemy, the Stone Man. Uh, Stone Man has 160 hit points. Oh my god! Holy fuckballs! I think he might kill me anyways. Uh, he has an attack of 100. His defense is actually pretty low at only 40. His speed of 47. So he can't dodge for shit. Uh, he can give up to 140 gold. He gets 65 experience points. Uh, Alright, he has no special abilities. All he can do is hit. But holy fuck can he hit. Damn. I am so glad he can't put us to sleep. Uh, this guy could be a death sentence. And at health! Oh my god! I've not even stopped spelling the wizards uh, through the process of uh, level grinding. I reached the point where that pretty much became irrelevant. Uh, I mean, their hurt more spell does about 30 to us. So, I mean, I can take 30 damage and, and uh, walk that off. So, unless he uses it on me each time over and over again, I don't really have a worry. Alright, so you see that staircase there? We're going to ignore that completely. Uh, you'll notice that the blue dragons actually aren't that tough. Uh, 
And that's the advantage of leveling up. I know some people will come and try to sprint in here at level 19. They'll find that's a mistake. Uh, you'll notice there's a staircase over there, staircase there. We don't want to take either of those. Here's the staircase we want. And, uh... Yeah, there are a couple more monsters that we are going to find in here. Uh, particularly as we get to the lowest levels of the dungeon. Uh, there was some things I wanted to show off, which I will. Uh, because we're actually going to get to Lodo's sword pretty quickly here. And, uh, I think we're gonna have plenty of time after Lodo's sword for me to show you another little area of the castle. Alright, here we go! And a fucking stone man, of course! The one thing that might potentially stop this from being, uh, successful. I mean, there's actually tougher monsters down here, but not many. Jesus, they hit hard. That's the first one I've fought. Like, I haven't played this game in years. That's the first one I've fought in a couple of years now, and holy crap, it's hard to remember that. All right, let's take a look here. We can see our uh, attack power went up by an amount that I don't have in front of me and should have been better prepared for. Uh, you can go back to when I had the uh, status up before to see uh, the answer to that. that I still need to use magic against to fight. And it's purely because they heal themselves, and it would just make the fight take forever. Uh, one thing you'll notice about the monsters is they never run out of hit, uh, magic points. Uh, they just seem to have an unlimited wellspring of it. So I'm gonna stop spell this guy as well, or I won't. I just don't want to get put to sleep again. Alright, so that's a quarter of the way to another level, which is uh, actually pretty great. I'm not gonna complain about that at all. this episode over again. I've actually done pretty good. There's uh, only one episode I've had to restart multiple times, uh, and that was before going to explore Hawk's Nest. Uh, everything else I've been able to get done uh, in a more reasonable way. All right, so you see this staircase here. We're going to go down here right now. Uh, and you might be thinking, oh, is this the way to the Dragon Lord? No, it's not. It's not even close to the way to Dragon Lord. This is going to take us to... Well, honestly, probably the best spot that we could be for a while. Goddamn Stone Man! Fuck you, Stone Man! Take real damage. 
Yeah, until we can do 60 on our own hitting this thing, it's probably better to start off by hitting it with one of those. Oh my god, they're just... They have so much health and they hit so hard. Jeez, fighting those things is a good way to wind up dead. Alright, so here we have a straight path. Armored Knight! New enemy! Alright, let's take a look. The Armored Knight has 90 hit points, attack of 105! That's even higher than the Stone Man, holy shit! Thank goodness they don't have the health they do. Their defense is 86, so they are well armored. A speed of 147, they can dodge. They can give up to 140 gold, and they give 70 experience. They can cast Heal More and Hurt More. We need to hit this thing with a stop spell immediately. And our cursor, for extra measure, our cursor actually disappears behind his sprite. That's fun. You could really easily cast the wrong spell by mistake. Holy shit. What a lucky game. Uh, wow. Um, we got lucky and just annihilated him. And our last new enemy. Oh, this has been uh, a really fruitful trip. <laughs> so, here, of course, we have the Red Dragon. They have 100 hit points. Attack of 120. Oh, my God. That's just not even funny. 120. That's actually the highest of any monster in the game, aside from Dragonlord himself. Holy crap, it's not even that far off of Dragonlord's attack. He's got a defense of 90, a speed of 247. Again, he can give up to 140 gold, and he gets 100 experience points. And best of all, best of all, he can put us to sleep. How ridiculous is that? He also, of course, has a fiery breath attack, and of course it didn't work. So apparently landing stop spell has a low hit rate on him too. Jesus! How am I supposed to get through this cave? You see what I was talking about? We are not high enough level to defeat Dragon Lord. We're barely high enough level to fight a red dragon. Jesus! Now imagine that, but stronger with a more powerful fire attack. Good lord. Alright, so we're gonna heal more again. It's twice from that one fight. We're gonna go down these stairs. And you see, we're in a narrow pathway that leads us to a set of stairs, which leads us into a narrow pathway, which leads us into a set of stairs, which leads us into a narrow pathway, which leads us to a set of stairs. Which leads us into a narrow pathway, which leads us into a set of stairs. If you haven't figured out what I'm talking about, it's an eternal loop. All it is. That's what I wanted to show you, and... Sorry for dragging you through that. Um, but, on the bright side, if you go backwards... back where we were. Alright, so that is going to do it for today. Uh, <laughs> we succeeded in acquiring Lodo's sword, and as you saw, I clearly need a lot more levels before I am ready to take on the Dragon Lord. Uh, so when I rejoin you next, it will be from Tantagel Castle, where we will do the full march to Charlock Castle to face off with the Dragon Lord. So until next time, stay frosty.